Baritone singers are the striking trend in opera today. They dominate voice competitions, earning the top prize money. They start their careers faster than any other vocal classification, and there's a seemingly endless supply of outstanding baritones. Their lyric voice is more natural to speech than any other voice type, and many live well in a career of operatic roles while frequently crossing over to Broadway. In fact, these days, an attractive-looking baritone with a solid technique and good acting skills can land jobs on major stages by his early 20s. In this video, we'll learn about famous baritone roles, characteristics of the baritone voice, and finally, we'll meet Canadian-American baritone Joel Balzoon, who will bring us inside his special world of the baritone sound. This video was inspired by the California Standards for Arts in Music and specifically addresses Standards 3, 4, and 10. Standard 3 deals with when creative work is ready to be shared with the public. Standard 4 addresses how artists select repertoire. And Standard 10 describes how artists make meaningful connections through music. The human voice falls into six vocal classifications from high to low, soprano, mezzo-soprano, contralto, tenor, baritone, and bass. Each vocal classification contains several subclassifications, too. There are at least 18 baritone subclassifications, and they're based on a variety of characteristics. Baritones with light voices, heavy voices, metallic voices, tall baritones, good-looking baritones, those that can sing fast, those that can sing extra low, those that can sing extra loud, and the list goes on. But in general, the baritone singer has a range that's just below the tenor voice and just above the bass voice. Most baritones can sing some of the range of a tenor and some of the range of a bass. A lyric baritone has a range that shares more notes with the tenor above than the bass below, while the bass baritone has a range that shares more notes with the bass below than the tenor above. In pop culture, baritones play leading roles just about everywhere, but especially in Broadway musicals and Disney movies. But opera is where we're most familiar with the sound of a baritone. Now let's dive in and meet a real baritone. My friends, baritone Joel Balzoon and pianist Susan Davies, came to San Luis Obispo to film a recital. During that recital, we talked about music and the world surrounding a baritone's career. Now join me for part of that concert and conversation.
How do you make a meaningful connection when performing? That's a really interesting question. I think that you don't know whether or not you've made a meaningful connection until people tell you, wow, that really impacted me, or I felt the meaning behind your words or behind the music or something like that. It's hard to tell while you're in the performance. There's obviously things you can do to try and establish that connection, the biggest thing being eye contact with whomever you're singing to. Even if it's a large audience, you can make eye contact with individuals in an audience for, you know, a second at a time. Sweet Suffolk Gal, so trimly dight, with feathers like a lady Sitting by night A whip, a whip, a whip, a whip A whip, a whip, a whip, a whip I note that forth so freely rolls With shrill command the mouse controls and the singers started and the singers started for dying souls. A whip, 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 a whip. Joel, how do you prepare to work with an accompanist you've never worked with before? It's a lot of trust that they're going to come prepared, which luckily Susan was beautifully prepared and is such a wonderful pianist in person. When I sent the music to Susan, there were markings of my own in some of the songs about where to slow down, where to speed up, and stuff like that. And singers kind of have, are forced to work with pianists that they don't know all the time when they go to auditions for various opera companies or... Um, young artist programs or competitions, most of the time an accompanist will be provided. It's a lot of trust and then doing what you can to make sure that the accompanist will be successful. Lions have laid in grasses before and pale hairs in lonely lanes. Lions Lions, lions, but the trees and the leaves and the leaves and the trees are choicer and much more fair. A panther than lions, ignore pale hairs, for with the trees. And the leaves and the leaves and the trees, you found your choice as fair. By far choicest and fair. Lions have 
laid in grasses before, and the pale hairs in lonely lanes lie and lie. Joel, can you give us an example of a creative choice you made in this recital that demonstrates your signature as an artist? Yeah, one of my favorite moments in this program in terms of what I'm singing is in Litany by John Musto. I think it's an incredibly relevant song um, talking about, you know, caring for those that aren't cared for, those that are marginalized or could be marginalized in some way. Um, and I think that it plays directly into the unrest that we continue to see in the U.S. And so one line that sticks out to me in terms of my own artistry is um, gather up, gather up in the arms of your pity, uh, the sick, the depraved, the desperate, the tired, all the scum of our weary city. Um, that list is really um, gratifying to color each of those words with kind of a different tone quality. Sometimes it's a little breathy. Sometimes I choose to sing it a little bit flat to paint the pain of, you know, those feelings and those situations that some people find themselves in. And, and I think that coloring words like that is really important for singers. And I think that that's one of the places that's most, um, gratifying to color and it's always really interesting to see how it comes out because it doesn't always come out the same way every time.
Thanks for watching this video with me. Please remember that it's always okay and encouraged to ask questions when you're watching live music and performances. You can send me a question anytime to brian at operaslow.org. Thanks again, and we'll see you soon.